Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to find a second point on a line. Before we begin, we want to remind ourselves of the formula that we use for the slope. The slope equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That means that we have to have two points on that one line and then subtract the y coordinates on the top and subtract the x coordinates on the bottom, divide, and that will give us the slope of the line. Let's look at a problem. Find another point on the line that passes through the point 1 and 2 and has a slope of negative 3. How can we use how can we find the other point any other point on that line given that this line passes through a specific point and has a specific slope First let's write the the formula m the slope equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 Well we have one point so this part here represents a point and this part here represents a second point we have one point of the two that we need let's call the x coordinate for this given point x2 and the two here would be y2 let's use those numbers in the formula y2 then is a 2 minus and then divided by 1 minus equals to the other piece of information that we know is the slope. In this kind of problem, we want to change the slope from a whole number to a fraction form. So negative 3 is negative 3 over 1. Any number that is given as a whole number, you are able to rewrite as a fraction by simply dividing it over 1. Now the remaining step is to fill in the blanks. 2 minus what will give you negative 3? And also we need to figure out 1 minus what will give you a 1. If we know the missing information on the top and the bottom of the formula, that will give us the second point that we are looking for. So let's think. 2 minus what number will give you a negative 3? 2 minus 5 will give you a negative 3. What about the bottom part? 1 minus what will give you 1? So it's a 0. 1 minus 0 will give you 1. So the second point we're looking for is 0 and 5. Be careful that the point is not 0 and negative 5 because the formula itself has a minus sign. It asks us to subtract the numbers. So the point would not be 0 and negative 5. We're only going to look at the number. So it's going to be 0 and 5. Next question, find another point on the line that passes through the point negative 6 and 7 and has a slope of half. The same way that we did the last question, let's rewrite the formula just to have it on there. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's fill in the information that we know. So let's label the points so we did we do not get mixed up x2 and y2 so y2 in this case will be the 7 minus and we have the x2 is a negative 6 and minus equals to the slope is given as a fraction form so we're going to use it as is 1 over 2 now fill in the blank. 7 minus what number will give you 1? 
and negative 6 minus what number should give you 2? 7 minus 6 will give us the 1 on the top. And negative 6 minus negative 8 should give us the 2. Now remember when we do a subtraction of a negative number is the same as adding. So negative 6 minus negative 8 is as if we're adding negative 6 plus 8. And that will give you the 2. So the second point that we're able to find is negative 8 and 6. In this question, we did write the x coordinate with a negative sign because we did subtract negative 8. For the y coordinate, we did not write it as a negative 6 because we have a minus, which is part of the formula, and then 6. For the y, it's positive. For the x here in this question, is negative. This is a practice question. Let's read the question together. Have some time to do the question yourself and then come back for the answers. Find another point in the line that passes through 10 and 1 and has a slope of negative 1 over 3. Let's do the question together. We will start by writing down the formula for the slope, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Let's use the formula given in the question that is equal to the y2 in this case is 1 minus. On the bottom part, it is 10 minus. Fill in with the slope, it's a negative 1 over 3. We need to ask ourselves 1 minus what number should give us a negative 1, and 10 minus what number should give us a 3. 1 minus 2 will give us a negative 1. On the bottom, 10 minus 7 will give us a positive 3. Since the bottom part is the x and the top part is the y, then our point will be 7 and 2. This is another practice question. Find another point on the line that passes through 5 and negative 1 and has a slope of 1. Let's do the question together. Again, the formula m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Label our coordinates from the point given in the question, that is x2 and y2. Let's use the information on the formula. y2 in this case is a negative 1 minus, and on the bottom we have a 5 minus equals to the slope is given as a whole number 1, then change into a fraction form 1 over 1. Negative 1 minus what number should give you 1? And 5 minus what number should give you a 1? Negative 1 minus negative 2 should give us the 1. On the bottom, 5 minus 4 will give us 1. Again, on the top part, we have too many minus signs. Think about it as the subtraction of a negative number is the same as adding. So negative 1 minus negative 2 is really like doing negative 1 plus 2, which is at the end will give you the 1. In this case, the other point that the line passes through will be 4 and negative 2.
If you have any questions on this video, you're able to email, chat, or schedule an appointment using the link below.